was seven fellas of it on the leg side, plus the wicket keeper, plus the bowler, that makes nine fellas. You've only got two men on the offside, and the ball is being directed towards your body. There is virtually nowhere to go. There's nothing you can do. If you play defensively, you get caught by one of the short legs close up. If you play the hook shots, you get caught by somebody out on the fence. And, <clears throat> of course, there was also a very real danger, a physical danger, to the uh, players who were not very fast or very fleet of foot. Um, we, uh, we were upset about what they did. That showed you very clearly the direction of the ball. You see, uh, I'm standing on the leg side. Now, I move over to the offside. If I had stood exactly where I was, that ball would have hit me in the chest. This one, I'm afraid, a little bit higher than the chest. And this was a very emotional match because, you see, I'd not played in the first test, uh, test match due to illness, and I had come back into this second game and I think everybody was expecting that I might put up a good performance. Anyhow, uh, as I went out to bat, I, I seemed to have a premonition that Bill Bowes was going to bowl me a bumper. So I set myself to play the shot and sure enough, he, he bowled it exactly where I expected he would and I played the shot as I intended to play, but by a miracle, pulled it down from about chest high onto the base of my leg stump. I could try it a thousand times again and I couldn't do it. But that was the end of it. Bradman scored 103 not out in the second innings of that second test. It was his only century of the series. His average was 56.57. England won back the Ashes in the fourth test, played in Brisbane. The England fourth test match in which England recaptured the Ashes is laid at Brisbane. Here in Queensland is really semi-tropical country, and the sun blazes down from the cloudless sky like a molten ball of fire on this, the hottest day of the tour. Australia's first wicket stand ended at 133 with Richardson's departure and Bradman appears. He is not very comfortable against Larwood, but he knocks up a useful 76 before being dismissed. It was obvious that uh, it was something that was not going to last. It only had a limited life before it stopped. And, um, we were all very relieved, I think, when the season was over and we got back to normal cricket again. Did you get to know Douglas Jardine later in life? <laughs> Not very well. Um, the nearest I got to him was that uh, after my career was finished, I did a tour of England as a journalist and consequently was in the press box each day writing my stuff for the newspaper. And so happened that Jardine was seated next to me in the press box. And uh, obviously we, we would have to say good morning to one another when we arrived, but there wasn't very much conversation during the day. Uh, we would occasionally have a, an argument about what happened on the field. He would say one thing and I would say something else. But that, that really was the only contact I had with him socially. In general, uh, in those days, did the members of opposing teams see a reasonable amount of each other off the field and become good friends? Yes, yes, they did very much indeed with the exception of this 1932-3 tour. That was one of the, the tragedies of the whole thing, that it, it set up an enmity between the players and uh, you didn't have this fraternisation off the field that you would normally have. As a contrast to McCormick, the slow left-hander Fleetwood Smith comes on to bowl to Bradman, who in previous matches has scored many runs off the Victorian bowler. Commencing uh, this is the, uh, the match the between the New South Wales and Victoria at the Sydney Crew Ground in 1934. I had a bit of a field day on that occasion because uh, I uh, took the long handle to Fleetwood Smith and uh, if my memory doesn't play me false, I think I hit five sixes in that innings, whereas, uh, whereas I'd never hit a, a six before in a first class match. Uh, that was when I, uh, I was having a go towards the finish and uh, 
I was.